You gonna say it? Are you gonna say it? Are you gonna say it? Yeah. Are you gonna say it? You. You gonna say it? No. No, you're gonna make. Okay. Well, I got a haircut. Thanks for noticing. Um. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> It's not like I really cared anyway. <laughs> I didn't care. No, no, of course. All right, let's play Death of Taxes. It's okay. I'm okay. I'm okay. It's fine. I got my cactus now. Heck yeah. Shut up, phone. Look here, Grim. How about we try out some brand new methods of strengthening the equilibrium? I have great faith in these techniques of a more structural nature uh, a total of two humans have to die the humans on the opposite end of the profile bundle must yes this may be the key what hold on hold the opposite end opposite ends oh oh so the the oh okay i get it i get it i get i got you so you and you will die, right? Correct? Right? Saskia has a penchant for studying in general. They're not really trying to get anywhere or achieve anything specific at the moment. They're just learning all that comes within their field of view. This approach may at least get them on the college challenge quiz team. Well, too bad for you, Saskia, cause you will die. Right after graduation, Caleb went to work at the Acedia Institution, where they have been researching strange experimental pathogens. The goal is to achieve a potential breakthrough in human cell regeneration. It's a pretty dangerous job, as it oftentimes involves the use of very sharp instruments. Well, you're dead now, so... I got an achievement for this is fine, cool. Jade is a communications coordinator at the Cosmopolis City Home Guard, mainly focusing on disaster management. They live alone, with two cats and a hamster, due to not being particularly interested in finding a partner. Okay. Well, have fun living? This game is like lagging strangely on me. I don't know how, how, why this game would lag of anything. Legitimate research or greedy Tomb Raider consensus has not been reached when it comes to this noted archaeologist. For the past five years, they've been digging up artifacts, in quotes, around the Faradun region. Okay. Oh my god, why is this game fucking lagging? Why, why would this game lag? Fate, my man. I did... I think what you were telling me to. My fellow colleagues, Thank you. I have been deliberating a matter. Mm -hmm. Oh, you know it. Should I become a writer? Oh, I think, yeah. I a testament to Mr. Yeah, you betcha. Thank you, cat. Even though you fucking, you fucking evil bastard, you fucking, you. Well, off you go now. Okay, see you later, Grim. I mean, I'm in a fate. A fresh idea. I hope you are still well motivated from our performance discussion. We are trying out another new structural method. You'll be required to demonstrate utmost precision. Uh, quota for the day, all humans in the bottom row have to die. Keep the chaos away, will ya? You die, you die, and you die. Let's read about these people who will die. Kigosi is on the verge of finishing a proposal for a delivery system infrastructure based on low-cost drones. It would use cutting-edge drones to safely and effectively transport food from stores and restaurants to people. They got the idea while looking at a stressed food delivery person on a bike in the rain. Okay. I didn't mean, I didn't ask you to bring up the phone. Get this out of here. Get out of my way. I can't be distracted at work. Archibald thought their dream had come true after they landed an internship at a major publishing company. Turns out they dislike both their job and their sometimes mean, sometimes indifferent boss. They now pass their time at work playing pranks on their server supervisor. Sorry, Archibald. I'm not sorry. Sigismund is haunted by the suicidal people they've had to run oh my god i was very confused 
that's I feel terrible though. Um, even though there's nothing they could have done, they've started writing a series of romance novellas about a nihilistic food delivery person and a religious library worker. In the climatic mode, one of them saves the other from jumping. Well, now that you're dead, your books are going to become very popular, so I just did you, uh... Did you favor? Stanislav works at Cosmopolis City Courthouse. They have a few goals in their life other than becoming the world's fastest typist. Already their fingers run across a keyboard like bolts of lightning, but they feel there's more that could be achieved. For 40 years, Terence wrote charming, fantastical novels for youth and adults alike, up until their health began to deteriorate. They still try to write every day, but the process keeps getting more difficult. They've also made substantial donations to many health research trusts. Wilton is a very proficient logistics coordinator. Their nickname at work is Smooth Operator. They also apply these skills to managing two separate secret families. That's cool. That's cool. I'm sure they'd appreciate that. Zola specifies. You in there, head? Your brain, you, brain, okay, okay. Zola specializes in child abuse pediatrics and is able to determine signs of abuse from very subtle signs. They've had a key role in saving countless children from dangerous environments. Well, I'm glad you get to live then. I have been ruminating on the humans. They vex me. Man, they fucking vex me too. They can't, like, some of them can't just you know accept humans for be human like fucking black lives matter and fucking lgbtq shit it's like man just fu they're fucking human man i don't understand it either man they really do vex me I mean, yeah, uh, yeah. Oh, right. Switched my mind. Well, <laughs> fuck, I messed it up. Ah, ah, <gasps> it's okay. It's fine. I'll get over it. <laughs> it's fine. I'm already over it, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> Okay. Tidings, Grim. Life should not be too predictable, do you not agree? We could use a little bit of, um, alteration and alter- uh, Oh, al an alternation every so often, and I have a uh, just the thing for it. Every other profile has to die. More often than not, Gunther finds themselves in dangerous situations due to their curious nature and profession. They haven't had a chance to build a family because of their risky life choices, but they hope to settle down eventually. At the moment, they're undercover working for a minor juggler trying to expose corrupt police. When people started buying their loved ones together, started burying their loved ones together with their valuables, Ellie started digging. The belief that possessions could somehow be taken to an afterlife seems very silly to Ellie. They called themselves a tomb diver. Before Amandus took over the Daily Moon, the newspaper was in decline. With ruthless determination, they turned the paper into tabloid powerhouse we know today. While recklessly digging through the lives of others, they've used the paper to suppress rumors about themselves. Sefa is an inspiration to all of their students. Although their school is poor, they do have everything in their power to make the chemistry classes as engaging as possible. Using the available chemicals for demonstrations rather creatively, Sefa smells of sulfur at all times. Chad quit college several years ago and started making MeToo videos in their parents' basement. 80% of the content is about philosophy and 20% critical analysis of why they got dumped again. Renee teaches languages and literary criticism to high schools in arduous tasks, all things considered. They have an interest in education science with the aim to upgrade the teaching methods of other teachers, as many of the old timers are not up to date with modern approaches. Man, I really chose the wrong way to do this, but okay. Uh, Rufa enjoys spending all their days at home caring for their three kids. Recently, they agreed to become a surrogate for a same-sex couple. Another perk of being a stay-at-home parent for Rufa is the possibility to play planet of peacecraft at any free moment. I'm glad that you at least get to... 
Thank you. I'm glad you get to live at least. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening? Oh my god, I'm gonna have a fucking stroke. I'm gonna have a stroke. I'm gonna have a stroke. Why is this fucking game lagging? I don't know what's going on. H Shack co owns a logging company where they work as a lumberjack. Although they comply with environmental regulations on paper, they occasionally clear protected habitats by mistake, destroying homes of thousands of endangered birds. I'm okay with letting you die. Oh, that makes me feel happy inside. Anyway, we have some official business to take care of, yes? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Nothing amiss here, as far as I can see. Your adherence to the rules is admirable. Thank you. Now I bid thee goodbye. Goodbye. The inaugural words of the greatest novel of all time will be engraved tonight. Okay. Good luck. You're gonna do great. Maybe. Grim, I will keep this short. I am suspecting a systematic bias in our balancing methodology. Quote for the day, the last three humans coming from the facts have to die. I'm continuing on the accuracy of your judgment. The the last three humans coming from the facts. Well which Okay, so the the last three would be the ones on top. Right. So these ones would die. Lucian has been teaching undergrads for nearly 30 years now. They are well known for their welcoming demeanor, yet whispers travel about shady and inappropriate deeds with... Yeah, no, I, um, I'm okay with letting you die then. I'm, I'm, I'm fine with that. Gwendolyn is not exactly sure when their career as a network engineer stagnated. It's definitely not what they dreamed of doing with their life, but they're barely just content enough and their large family depends on their income. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry about your family. Elay completed the grueling scout sniper training, but they are constantly either afraid for their life or thinking about the probable, the probable, uh, <sighs> okay, I'm going to restart. <sighs> Elay completed the grueling scout sniper's training, but they're constantly either afraid for their life or thinking about the probable infin infidelity. My brain don't work. Don't work. Uh, of their spouse, they have not yet fired a rifle in situation. Okay, whatever. Fucking great. As if born to lead in tense situations, Paul enjoys being the backbone of the armed services. After completing several important missions during the Wask Grad conflict, they've now moved into a training new recruits. They empathize, having a calm head and thinking things through. From all the available activities, Zygmunt only likes watching TV, playing computer games, drinking beer, and eating pizza without even live streaming at all. They live there with their mother and claim to have no mission in life other than watching world, wasting the world's resources. Oh, okay. After decades of unsuccessful attempts at turning mercury into gold, Ultar decided to utilize their alchemy talents in healthcare. They carefully mixed together various chlorine and sulfur containments compounds, <coughs> containing compounds, and selling it as a cure for everything. Jerry is a creepy kidnapper. This. You know, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't really care, man. I don't fucking care. If you're gonna fucking kidnap children, I'm gonna kill you. Just as simple as plain as day as that. Fate, tell me how I did wrong. Tell me. Lay it on me. Why are you here? What do you mean, why am I here? Oh, right. Daily. Aww. I'm sorry. Uh, maybe you should take a break, Fade. I see more profiles than required. Bad job, I guess. Okay. Yes, that should suffice, I imagine. Questions, questions, Grim. Fine. I have trouble finding inspiration. your questions would assist me make sure they are deep and meaningful no idea our immortality precludes us from such knowledge 
yet, I imagine it would be a pleasant relief. I don't know how to handle this situation. Rin. That is just <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here, man. I'm gonna be honest. Any other questions? Grand. Goodbye, Grim. The mute beckons. Okay. Great. Cool. Great, yeah, wonderful, wonderful, great, cool. <clears throat> I don't, I don't think Fate's doing so good. I think he should take a break or go see a therapist or something. And I don't know how to handle the situation. So with that being said, I'm gonna, I'm gonna end the episode there, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs> All right. All right thanks for coming i hope you enjoyed the video uh if you did maybe like subscribe and like the video ah uh, that'd be kind of cool right <laughs> that's right anyway once again thank you for watching and i'll see you later bye <laughs>